Hey everyone and uh, welcome to today's video, episode 2. And today we're going to be buying some more machinery for the farm. Um, so, first of all I've gone into the shop which is, as you know, you press P. So we're going to buy one of these monster, you can see here I've got 25 million euros at the moment. Uh, if you want to see how I do that, just have a look on my YouTube channel and you'll see how I increase the money. Um, this is purely so I can show you guys this kind of thing. So uh, let's have a look. We're going to go for this one here. The reason being this one, 980 euros a day maintenance. Doesn't really make a difference with that kind of cash, but, you know, let's keep it down to 940. It's also um, suitable for this 45-foot um harvester or header so uh, we're going to go ahead and buy one of those okay so we've bought that we now need to buy a header for that which that one is uh, 35 feet and this one's 45 feet so you've got another 10 feet on there so uh, much quicker to harvest things with um okay so let's quickly uh go back so we'll come out of here let's tab into that and there we go we can see what we've got here uh, so we're going to pick this thing up you can see it's actually got a trailer so you can actually hook that up uh, never done it but you can hook it up to a tractor and uh, tow it around the place if you want uh, probably actually the best thing to do is if you get I if you press I for your PDA um, and go back here and we reset these and we reset that too and what that'll do it'll take that take you back to your farm then so again press tab and there it is annoyingly it kind of puts that the wrong way around so you have to kind of give it a nudge <laughs> so that you're able to hook the thing up um which is the best thing you know you just bought this equipment and uh, yeah you push it around so, okay so here we go let's try and get this attached oh come on it's close enough there we go now you'll see that the trailer bit stays on and I was thinking what on earth so if we press G that changes the tool selection and you can see now it says fold header so if we press X those wheels fold up and then we go with it we can start a bit of a tight squeeze through here and here's our first field we're gonna harvest today um, so because I'm lazy I like to hire a worker and because I've got enough money I can uh, hire a worker we could actually go around the outside, do this up and down like a lawnmower type situation, do any, anything you like really. Uh, but no, we are going to hire a worker. So first of all, we have to lower the header. Uh, let's go back to G to, to unfold the harvester. So that opens the top here, which is like where all the uh, wheat goes into and it also puts out this arm at the back. Um, at this point we can hire a worker which is H so I'm going to go ahead and do that and let this guy uh, harvest this field for me. Now while he's doing that I am going to switch to the shop because we are going to have a go at bailing as well. So if we will need a tractor for that. Um, now some of these tractors it, it, it tells you the power down here um we obviously need to get a tractor that can pull the baler now seeing as we've got some money we're gonna go for this one just because i like the look of it it's funky right so if we buy that and then we're going to need uh the baler which is here and we'll go for this one never done this before so this will uh, this will be good fun so come out of there we'll be back here now let's tab into this in fact let's do the same thing again because if we reset that and reset that too 
then we will be straight back at the farm, which is handy. So yeah, this is uh, this is a pretty awesome looking piece of kit. Now I'm just going to zoom out because I can never line these things up. They always go the wrong way. All right, cute. Here we go. So what I'm aiming to do. Follow this harvester around. So while he's uh, while he's doing that, we'll do this. Uh, so unfold the baler uh, X. There we go, and uh, we're lowering the pickup. We need to turn it on. There you can hear the things actually uh, turned on now. all we need to do? I have no idea. Well, it seems to be picking that up, so I'm guessing we're, we're doing okay. Oh, and here comes our first bale. Check that out. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And uh, let's lower that pick up again and uh, set off again. Weirdly, you can't actually get a uh, hire a worker for this, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, but there you go. This thing actually churning bales out again. No, is that our first one about to go? Looks like it. There we go, it's actually uh, dropped that bale down over there. And we would then need some sort of equipment to pick that bale up. Um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do next. Uh, yeah, a bit of a shame that we can't actually uh, hire a worker for this, so we can keep this production going. But, uh, One more run. Oh, what is that guy doing? Am I going to end up running into this, this worker? Hopefully not. Uh, but you can see that uh, that harvester's made uh, quick work of this field, and the baler um, has actually done a pretty good job of collecting uh, up. Might as well just follow this guy for now. Um, get the rest. how many bales out of an entire field. And uh, I'm guessing this guy's going to stop. I don't know whether he's going to stop in my way or whether he's going to get it. Oh, he's going to stop in my way. That's how handy. Alright, let's just get into that and uh, move that out of the way. So our tractor can get in there. Let's zoom back out. So, uh, we're, we're almost there. Uh, let's, um, let's see, where is it? Uh, no, we don't want to unload it. We don't want to fold it. We want to turn it on. There it is. I couldn't find it. Right, so let's drag that thing over here, see whether we can get this last bail out. Which we can't. So we're going to turn off the baler and O unload, so I'm guessing that'll spit the rest of it out, which it does. Very nice, just walk forward, uh, walk forward, what am I talking about? Okay, so there we go, we've done the field with a worker, we've uh, we've actually bailed up the, I can't remember what it's called, swaith, swarf, something 
something like that, I can't remember. Um, and we've made bales, so now we need something that can pick those bales up. So I'm just going to put this out of the way for now. Uh, I'm going to switch to the shop. We will buy another tractor. Uh, yep, we'll go for that same one again. That's fine. And what else do we need now? If we go to baling technology. So that's your basic one. Uh, 24,000 euros for that. But we don't want that. We want this. That can carry 8 bales. This thing can carry 16. So that's what we want. So we're going to buy that. Okay, to that. We'll come out of there. We will go to here, but then we'll do exactly the same as we have been doing and reset these. Um, reset that too. Yes, okay. Okay, so now let's tab into those. Here we are. Uh, oh dear, do I need a dolly for that? No, no, I don't. Right, so we're going to zoom out. That's it, I'm absolutely... Oh my god, look, I always go the wrong way. What is wrong with me? Come on, you. Yes, there we are. So, we've got this on. Now, I have not used one of these before either, so I have no idea what this thing does. Um, but let's give it a try. We might just have to drive next to it and it scoops them up. I have no idea. Get this first one lined up. Give it a try. So we press B. It's saying operating position. Are you really telling me this is going to work? I, I don't believe you. Oh my god, that is pretty awesome. Okay, so, can you approach these things from any angle? No, well, uh, it's a bit quicker than the tractor I'm normally uh, used to. Can you approach? Yeah! How cool is that? Oh my god, I want this. <laughs> I want this thing in real life. Okay, so, this is really going to speed up your... your bailing time, so if you can uh, afford to go for one of these, that's what you should do, check that out, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're going to, well, this thing's all over the place, so quick. There we go, so, harvested, done. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this thing out of the way again. Okay, so now what we need to do, we, we've finished with that field, so we need to plant some more seed in there. So, what we're looking for now is yet another tractor. Uh, why not? And normally you'd go for a cultivator. But some of these sewing machines have actually got uh, cultivators built in, so you don't need to. So why buy a cultivator when you can do the job with one of these? So if we go for here, you can see it does all the different type of fruit types. Um, when sewing, when, uh, with a sewing machine, you can sew fields. Additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing necessary. So that's really going to speed speed up your time and that's 52,000 euros I know I'm using this money here and that's ridiculous but um, this kind of money is easily achievable if you look on my earlier video for the forestry this is easily achievable with a couple of trees two trees I think I think I said 30,000 on the last video but in actual fact you get about 40,000 euros per tree so throw a few of those in the lumber mill and there you've got this part um, uh, ready so we're going to buy one of those let's have a look um, yes let's come out of here 
get to those again we're going to do i for the for the um, pda and reset both of these and that resets them to the farm which is over here because the shop's over here and wow i mean that's that's a mega distance isn't it no it isn't that you're just lazy um so let's get into those here we are oh god go again with the bloody reversing that I cannot do. Um, I get out of power at that time. It's the pressure! The pressure! Okay, so come on, come on, attach. Yes, there we go. So, we are attached. That tree is in the way. I always think I'm going to hit it. Right. So, I don't know whether this one is the same, whether we can uh, hire a worker to do this. I have no idea. Oh, it's already seen hire a worker, so I am guessing we can. Um, right, let's do that. Let's see what this does if we just click hire worker. Okay, so there you can see it's unfolding. You can see it's got the cultivator at the front, and then it's got the seeding machine feeding through those pipes at the back. Where the hell is this guy going? This guy is useless. <laughs> okay, he decided that he wants to do a diagonal field. Okay, well this is interesting. I guess that means that whichever angle you set these guys off in means that that's the way they cultivate their field. Well, it's a nice pattern, but I don't think it's the best way of planting crops. Um, so, while he's doing that, what else can we be doing? Um, let's have a look here. Let's have a look what else we've got in here. So, we've got plows, we've got tippers. Ah, now, tippers. Let's go for a tipper. So, what you would normally do with the uh, harvester you would get yourself a tractor, um, buy that one, that's fine, <coughs> and you'd get yourself a tipper. Now, obviously, the bigger it is, the more you can put in there, that's brilliant, but also the more your maintenance goes up. So if you are playing the game properly, um, and, and you know, you're know you using the money properly rather than uh, cheating, um, you want you'd take these things into account but you know we've got the ridiculous money up there so let's let's see what we can get now some of these will require a dolly which it says here suitable for dolly this one does not so let's go for that it's 80 and it, it can carry everything the capacity is absolutely massive on that so let's buy that okay so p to come out of there we will this guy, what is he doing? What an idiot. We should dismiss this guy, but anyway, you know, let's keep it on for comedy value. Um, let's reset this and reset the tipper. Okay, oops. Um, and then we will tab into those again. Here we are. Come on, first time this time, first time. Come on, oh yes. Okay, so normally you would have this wherever your um, harvester is. So our harvester is over there. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that boom thing, because this has got a really wide header on it, I'm guessing that can reach. Uh, we will see. We will see. So, let's go back into here. Now, we want to go pipe out, which is O. And let's hope that this thing is actually going to line up. Oh! Not really. Uh, so, luckily for me and my farm, 
This guy was a bit savvy and said, hang on, is he actually ready? No, I wasn't ready at all. Uh, so it didn't just dump all of the wheat that we've just harvested. It's going to wait for me. Um, did I perhaps get the wrong loader or was this just... Yeah, it was just me being, uh, being useless, basically. Ah, so there we go. I've started to move close and you can see down the bottom right hand there it's saying how many percent uh, we are filling our trailer by. 11% for an entire field. That is a pretty big trailer. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so then what we would do with that... I don't know how much he had actually filled up the harvester, by the way. I should have actually uh, had a look at that, but I didn't. So, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, we want to obviously keep this um, in good condition, so we're actually going to store it in the silo, which is these things, uh, until we're ready to actually go and sell it. So the way you do that, you can see there's... I don't know what you can actually see it yet. There you go. You can see there's a pipe coming out that side. So that is for when you want to get the wheat out of the silo and take it to sell it. On this side, however, is where we tip. So what we will do is head over here. You can see there's some grain already in there. So we head over here, and I'm not sure whether this is a back tipper. I'm guessing it is. Uh, oh, it, it does say Q unload already, so let's see where that unloads from. It's a side tipper. There we go. So that's tipped all of that into there. So now we are actually able to go across to that other side and unload that and whatever else we've got and uh, take that and sell it. Oh, look, and uh, right out of time <laughs> is the instructions of what I've just told you to do. Um, these areas are for wood chippings. We will put that at a, another stage. You've got different things over there which are your seed for... Um, Planting. I don't actually know what I've told that worker to go and plant, thinking about it. Um, who knows what he's planting? He's probably planting bloody cherry trees, knowing him. Um, oh, he looks like he's... Well, he hasn't finished. He's got stuck. Because he's like, right, I've done it so far, and now there's all these tractors in the way. What an idiot this guy is. Right, uh, while we're doing this, let's get that pipe in. Um, I'm saying this guy is an idiot, not really an idiot. It's me for parking and me for not actually knowing that um, that's the way these things work. But there you go, that's what this is for. So, we're going to take this over here. Oh, we should be in the transport position, really, which is that. That's out of the way. Now, what are we going to do with this thing? Um, let's see whether we can actually get this thing lined up properly and get him to do a proper job, or whether it's just going to continue in a stupid manner. So, we are here, let's hire a worker, he's dropping that down, come on, go in a straight line. He is going in a straight line, now what's he going to do when he gets to this bit that's already seen? It's going to make for an interesting field, that's for sure. He's going to stop. Oh. And, what is he doing now? He's not doing anything. Great. Let's see whether we can get him to start again on this bit here. Oh no, where is he going to go? I forgot to point him in the right direction again, didn't I? Oh, this guy just wants to sow this field diagonally. He's got it into his head that that's what he's going to do, and nobody's going to tell him any different. 
Ah, oh, I'm definitely not hiring this guy again. Definitely not. Yes, he's doing it. He says, I don't care what you want, this is the way I'm going to do this. Okay, so that's the basic technology and machinery um, that we use for in the um, more traditional farming. I've shown you earlier the forestry equipment. Um, that is a great way to get your cash up. It doesn't get you 23 million, but it could if you were so bored out of your head that you just wanted to chop trees down all day. You could do that and you could make 23 million euros from it, but I suspect it would take you quite a while. I think it was, um, I think it was about a million euros per half hour or 45 minutes or something like that. And I was bored out of my mind doing that so I wanted to do some more of this stuff so uh, that's what I'm gonna do um, okay guys well that's it for this video uh, join me again on episode 3 I'm not sure what we're going to be doing on that yet uh, well, that's the next thing to find out maybe some livestock or something is the next thing um, why don't you hit on the comments and tell me what we should put on there that's a better thing uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash it with your face if you're on the tube, you look really daft, but yes, I would really appreciate it. Okay guys, that's it for today, thank you very much for watching, bye!